Hello there, welcome back to the Chaps Guide channel. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today I'd like to talk to you about height because I am five foot nine, all right? I'm a very average height, not tall, not short. And even though I'm quite satisfied with being five foot nine, if you asked me, would you like to be taller if I could snap my fingers and make you a different height? Almost certainly, I would say, yep, yeah, okay, I'd love to be six feet tall, because that seems to be a nice round figure which people often refer to when they're talking about the perfect height for a physique. And yeah, when we look at iconic figures, people like Cary Grant, maybe the man who's been described more times than any as being the most stylish and well-dressed man of all time, he was six foot two. And certainly, if you're six foot two, tall and slender, as Cary Grant was, it makes it a lot easier to look good in your clothing. Because a suit or any clothes are just going to drape better, are going to hang better on that tall, lean frame. When we look at other characters, Sean Connery, probably the best James Bond, if you want to think of him in that vein. He was six foot two. And because he was well built to also, you know, his commanding height brought a brooding sense of physicality to the Bond role and in fact most of the, the actors who've played James Bond have been six foot tall or more excepting I think uh, Daniel Craig was a little shorter but yes height definitely has always been perceived to be a positive aspect when we're talking about or describing men and style and uh, their appearance. So how can a five foot, nine inch man such as myself gain that increased sense of height for those occasions when I wanna feel a bit more confident, when I'm going for a job interview, when I wanna look my very best and, and have that projection of physicality? Or maybe it's just in daily life. You know, when you're going out uh, in the evening and you just wanna look a bit taller in the bar when you're meeting your friends. Or maybe it's a very special occasion. Perhaps you're getting married and your bride to be actually is the same height as you. But because she's gonna be wearing high heels, in all the images you're concerned, she's going to be looking taller than you in your wedding day album. How can you look a bit taller? And of course, the answer is elevator shoes. They've been around for a long time and they give the shorter person the opportunity to appear several inches taller than they actually are, which is entirely invisible to the world around you. It takes no surgery, it doesn't alter you in any way, it's a simple thing as slipping on a pair of shoes which has the ability to boost your height by several inches, making a man such as me, five foot nine, six feet, simply by putting on a pair of shoes. The brand that I'm gonna to showcase to you today and that I've been wearing for a while is called Guido Maggi. Now this is an Italian brand which has been in existence since World War I when the character who the, uh, the, the company is named after, Guido Maggi, um, set up a shoemaking company and over the years, remaining still in family heritage, um, the shoes have been made in Italy to the very highest standard using the very highest material. These are actually set aside the fact that they're elevator shoes, some of the finest quality shoes that I have had the privilege of looking at for quite some time. Now of course they're a premium product which means they attract a premium price but that said as I've always reiterated on the channel I don't mind paying a premium price for a premium product and sh certainly you know I've been very impressed by these Guido Maggi shoes and the particular model which I'm showcasing today is a Capto Oxford because as I've said earlier many of the situations in life where we seek to appear a little bit taller and have a little bit more personal confidence by the way that we feel in the way that we project ourselves and of course height has a great part to play in the way we project ourselves. Um, the Capto Oxford is maybe the shoe that we're going to wear for those occasions for that wedding day, that job interview, that special meeting in work where you're standing up in front of your peers and your, your superiors and you're giving a presentation. You want to project 
this uh, larger, more powerful domineering character. And wearing a pair of shoes which boosts your height uh, can really be a benefit. Now this particular model, uh, which I've chosen from the catalog, uh, can boost your height from up to 2.4 to, I think it's 3.1 inches, depending on the insole which you choose to come with the shoe. But the key to Guido Maggi shoes, which I've discovered, is the fact that they are designed from the ground up with the intention of being an elevator shoe. Unlike many other brands, which merely make a shoe in which they've, you know, shoehorned, pardon the pun, the, uh, the insole, making it uncomfortable to wear and not natural in appearance. With these Guido Maggi shoes, they're actually designed with the intention of being an elevator shoe. So you know you're, got, you're getting something which is designed from the ground up, again, pardon the pun, but you're getting something which is perfectly uh, prepared for you to appear that taller, more imposing individual. Now the particular model I'm showing you today is um, the Guido Maggi Matera model. And as you can see, it's a black Capto Oxford. And it's as classically stylish in every way than any of the other black Capto Oxfords I have in my collection. I've probably got about five or six black Capto Oxfords because they're such um, a versatile and usable shoe in formal situations. Now this particular pair uh, is made of handcrafted full grain brushed calfskin leather. And as I say, it is as beautiful and as any other shoe in my collection. And I will demonstrate that because here I have a Loke 1880. Um, it's not a black cap to Oxford. It's a, it's a, a quarter brogue, a little bit of broguing. But as you can see, when I put them side by side, it's almost impossible to delineate the fact that the Guido Maggi shoe on my left is actually an elevator shoe. When you look at them side by side, it's not bigger, it's not unusual in its cut in any way. When we put them back to back, it's almost unnoticeable that one of the shoes will add three inches to your height, the other just a standard shoe. So there's no concerns that you're wearing a shoe which is gonna stand out as being something unusual and people will be able to tell just by looking at you that you're wearing a shoe which is trying to create the illusion of height. That's not the case. These shoes are of the very highest quality and I have to say, uh, when I'm examining this particular shoe, I can see that it's got a full leather Blake stitched sole, which in fact uh, has a rubber pad placed over the top which is great because you get the advantage of the leather sole allowing the shoe to breathe naturally and your foot to breathe naturally. But that rubber uh, top on it allows us to get better traction and adhesion when we're walking around on perhaps a wet day or a slippery pavement. So the leather sole and the rubber cap, very, very practical. Blake stitched, meaning it can be repaired. Once the sole wears through, it's possible to repair this shoe, which means that it can go on and have a very long life with you. Now this shoe has a price of, um, let me just check, 595 euros. So like I said, it's a premium product, but in reality, no more expensive than say a pair of church shoes, um, Crockett and Jones, any of the other sort of standard premium Northamptonshire made shoes in the UK. But of course this shoe has a secret it adds that 2.4 to 3.1 inches invisibly to our height, which is a wonderful thing and a, a wonderful confidence boost when you're going out in the world to make that amazing first impression. Okay, so what are my observations about this shoe? Because um, I've had it now for a couple of weeks. I've worn it off and on a couple of events. And let me tell you what I feel that this has been like as a lifestyle companion. Well, I should tell you, it's been comfortable right out of the box. When you put the shoe on, there is initially a slight sensation of being pitched slightly forward in your stance because the insole obviously has an elevation at the rear which makes you stand a little taller. In fact, it has a very positive impact on your posture because it makes you stand up a bit straighter. But within just a few minutes of walking in this shoe, um, that sense of you know standing slightly differently had been overcome and it was very comfortable straight away. The other thing I would say is that the leather is of very high quality. And even though I haven't done so yet, I can tell that it's going to take the polish very well. And should I wish to bring this shoe up to a mirror shine, I have no doubt 
it's going to be a right little gleamer when I get the polish on there. So from that point of view, I'm very impressed with the quality of the shoe itself. The fact that it's been handcrafted in Italy, the styling is classically elegant. It's never going to go out of fashion. This type of shoe has been worn by men for the last 50, 70 years and another 50 and 70 years into the future, this shoe is still going to be the industry standard for well-dressed men. Now Guido Maggi actually offers an enormous range of shoes. I've picked perhaps one of the more formal here, but when I glanced through their website, when they asked me if I would uh, like to review one of the models from their catalogue, um, I noticed that there's everything. There's sneakers, trainers, there's boots. They are very casual shoes. They are very formal shoes like this. Uh, even patent leather if you wish to have that height elevation in formal dress. Uh, there is something, it's fair to say, for everybody. So, you know, don't worry if you're somebody who, who habitually wears far more casual clothing there is a shoe for you uh, and it was quite a pleasure looking through the catalogue and choosing this. Now I should say at this point this video is not sponsored by Guido Maggi. They merely reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try a model from their collection. They've not paid me to speak about these shoes. They've had no influence on anything I've said here. In fact they're watching this video at the same time you are. So Believe me, these are purely my observations that I've uh, brought to you from wearing these for quite some time. And I have to say, when I put these shoes on, there is a noticeable sense that you're taller immediately. I put them on and I went and stood next to my wife. Now my wife is normally two inches shorter than me, so I'm used to sort of looking down on her slightly with these. I had a much more commanding presence and she felt she found it a little bit unusual, like a, like a different chap looking up to me. So yes, you get that sense immediately that you're much taller and I can see how it would boost your confidence, particularly if you're a person perhaps who would like to be a little taller. That added boost can be so much of a beneficial element to uh, the way that you feel and the impression that you make on others. So in conclusion, I'm not saying that being short or being lacking in height is an impediment in any way, all right? It doesn't matter what your height, whether you're six foot five or five foot two. You are a special individual on your own journey to chap nirvana. But there may be occasions in your life where you would like to be just that little bit taller. Maybe, as I say, a wedding day or a very special event or just in daily life. You would like to see what living life is like a little bit taller, even if you're six foot tall and you think to yourself, I wonder what it would be like being six foot three. It's now possible to do so by buying a pair of shoes like these Guido Maggi elevator shoes without anybody knowing. It's your secret. It's such a wonderful attribute to have within your wardrobe for those occasions when you want that little elevation in altitude, that little boost of height. So there we go. It's been a positive experience for me. I've really enjoyed uh, trialing these Guido Maggi shoes. And actually, I've got a conference coming up shortly. It's a big national conference where I'm actually providing a keynote speech. And it's, one of, it's probably the biggest occasion in the year when I'm going to speak to the public. So I would like a little boost in my confidence. And I think I'm going to achieve that by wearing these Guido Maggi shoes on my special day this year. Why not give it a thought how perhaps an elevation in height can improve your quality of life. Go and have a look on the Guido Maggi website. They've actually got physical stores in a number of locations around the world. Um, I believe it's Zurich, uh, Tokyo and another, uh, a number of other places. Go on their website, see if there's one near you. Maybe go and have a look, make an investment. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's video on this discussion of height. If you have, don't forget, um, give the video a thumbs up, click the red button if you'd like to see more. You can support the channel by buying me a coffee. The link to that is in the show notes below. So until the next time, stride through your life at whatever height you'd like to be, but maybe just a little taller. And until the next time, take care of yourselves and I will see you again very soon.